there was a Cochrane systematic review published on vegan diets and cardiovascular risk parameters. Interestingly enough, they looked at all the randomized control trials that had been done on vegan diets. And not one of those trials, not one randomized control trial available for this systematic review actually looked at clinical outcomes. What that means is it didn't actually look at things that actually matter to patients. It didn't look to see whether they had shortness of breath or they had uh, impaired cognition or how they're, you know, whether they had more heart attacks or these kind of things. So the only thing we can rely on for this research is surrogate markers. Surrogate marker means we see something like a blood test moving in a certain direction and we would assume that that's bad because our experience is that, you know, high triglycerides, for instance, is not a good sign, that a lowering of your HDL, good cholesterol, is not a good sign. And this systematic review actually found that HDL cholesterol went down on vegan diets and that triglycerides increased. And they actually acknowledged that these changes in the lipids were opposite to what they had predicted. Now, funnily enough, I suspect they meant to write opposite to what they'd actually hoped for. But either way, they actually did acknowledge that the changes of these direction and certainly suggesting that uh, they're actually not good for health. So I think the state of affairs is as of the 25th of February 2021, the best evidence we have for vegan diets on health appears to be deleterious. The LDL change, the LDL actually also went down on a vegan diet. And it depends on your worldview of LDL. If you subscribe to the old debunked theory that LDL is a bad thing, then you can say, well, maybe these, uh, these changes in HDL and triglycerides are offset by the change in LDL. But the simple fact is a lowering of LDL is almost certainly associated with an increase in cardiovascular risk. So, and we've got meta-analysis and systematic level of data proving that. If I give you an example of one study, so it was done by Bartham, B-A-T-H-U-M, in 2013, and they had a touch over 118,000 subjects who were all over age 50. And what they actually found that the people with the highest level of LDL had on average about a 50% reduced chance of dying than the group of people with the lowest LDL. So you can even, you can flip that the other way and say that if you have the lowest level of LDL, your risk of dying is doubled. Well, these people were aged over 50. So there's still a lot of life left in at age 50. They also excluded people with diagnosed heart problems and cholesterol problems who were, had been prescribed statin medication. That excluded people with cardiovascular disease. They excluded people with diabetes. They excluded people with any hint of terminal disease at all. So for all intents and purposes, this was a healthy, younger population. And they found that the lowest LDL level increased your all-cause mortality by about double compared to having the highest all-cause mortality.